Hello, students. Good day. I am Teacher Alvin, and welcome to our online class. Today, I will be teaching science. Before we proceed in our main topic for today, we're going to start first with our vocabulary. Our first vocabulary word is absorb 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 now let's spell the word absorb it's a b s o r b absorb very good our second vocabulary word is dense, dense, dense. Now, let's spell the word dense. It's D E N S E. Dense. Great job. Our third vocabulary word is drainage. 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 Now, let's spell the word drainage. It's D R A I. N A G E Drainage Very good. Now let's proceed with our discussion. Today we're going to review and recall our past lessons for your PA test 4 using soil last video we learned about the three primary types of soil namely we have sand silt and clay but today we're going to learn what are the uses of sand clay, and humus. Let's start first with sand. About 70% of sand in the world is quartz. It's formed by weathering and erosion. Sand has a myriad of uses in everyday products such as glass products like glass, bottles, and window pane. Sands and stones are the primary substance used in the construction of infrastructures like roads, bridges, high-speed trains, skyscrapers, and even our house. Let's proceed with clay. One of the more popular uses of clay soil is in ceramics and pottery. Clay soil is easily combined with water and work into a thick mass that is well suited for sculpting. Clay must be kept in a dark, moist environment in order to keep from drying out and to retain its ability to be molded into different shapes. 
And here are some of the examples of ceramics and pottery products. We have mugs, bowls, plates, vases, plant pots, and even jars. And finally, we have humus. Humus is a type of soil that has a lot of organic matter. Humus is dark brown or black in color. Humus is organic material that forms in soil when plant and animal matter decays. And humus is the best type of soil for growing plants because humus holds nutrients that plants can use. And humus is the best type of soil in planting our crops. Just like lettuce, cabbage, radish, tomatoes, and even carrots. Thank you for listening. Hope you learned something new today. And again, this is Teacher Alvin, and see you again next meeting. Bye-bye!